So today I'm here with the Dreamer Tube Mech Mod and the Ardent RDA, which is a full hybrid screw on right to the top of the mod RDA, totally eliminating the hybrid 510. So you can use this RDA on any type of tube mech, but it is made especially to go on this. So without further ado, I'm gonna drop it down low, show you guys down low, and then I got a lot to talk about when I come back up top. So let's get it going. All right, what we're looking at here is the Dreamer packaging. I'm gonna say 18650, 2700, 21700 on that side. You're gonna have the specs, packaging content, which is gonna be one Dreamer tube mod, one 18650 adapter sleeve, two spare springs, and one user user manual card. It's got the warnings, scratch and sniff, and then uh, this is gonna say your color on it. This one is the 316 brushed stainless. Designed by Stan at Tenacious TXV Vapes. TX Vapes, sorry. And that's it. That's it with the packaging. Inside, you're going to get this little cloth. Pretty cool little cloth down here. It says Times Vape. Sorry, I got it upside down. Times Vape, right there. Nice little cloth. Here you're going to have your extra package, and then here your mod will be sitting. So, in the extras, you are going to get, it's going to come with this contact in it right here, which is like a non, it's a not flat contact, silver coated. It's going to come with two extra springs. Inside of it right now, I have a solid silver contact. So this is what the mod is going to look like with the Ardent connected to it. Now, if you have a regular RDA you want to do, the Ardent is just going to unscrew like so. And you're going to get direct contact right to the battery to the RDA. Otherwise, you will screw this piece in here, and then another, you'll have a hybrid connection for a different style RDA. This RDA is 27 millimeters, and it's going to sit perfectly flush with the mod. So, the mod itself, it's got a nice little ergonomical shape to it. It, it fits in the hand nice. And it kind of sits right in that crease of your thumb area so you can fire it. The button, it, I, I'm actually a fan of the button. I like this button much more than the, um, the mage button because um, it's got these little cutouts that go into the button. If I get this thing to focus, hang on, let me... I'm going to have to do it myself because this camera's a hunk of shit. Alright. So you got these little cutouts that the button will recess into and allow it to not spin or loosen up. So you're not going to have to worry about it loosening up on you or anything. It says be tenacious times vape on the other side with a little hourglass in the middle. And then, oh, yeah, I need to clean that contact up. It's got a self-adjusting um, battery. Uh, God, why can I never say this? Oh, it's, it's a self-adjusting um, button for battery rattle, and then that is a solid flat. No, sorry, it's a flat silver con silver coated contact right there which I need to clean up with an eraser because I didn't see that black on this side of it there. So, let's see here. I usually put the button on first, drop my 30T or battery of choice. So this is, you're just gonna screw this on and you'll be able to put any 
RDA on there, but with the Arden, the Arden's just going to directly screw on there. Now, the Arden RDA. Now, I'm sorry that this isn't very clean. Honestly, I wasn't going to waste any more cotton on this RDA. I fiddle fucked the shit out of it. I've done a bunch of shit to it, tried different things, and I'm just done with it, to be honest with you. So, the, the build quality is very nice on it. It's got Ardent engraved there. You are going to have six airflow holes, or sorry, ten airflow holes on each side. It's going to have the little hourglass symbol on this side. Top cap is not conical very whatsoever. It just kind of goes flat with a little rounding off in the corner. You're going to have your locking mechanism on each side of the cap there. So onto the deck. You can see you got your air flows. You can see on this side how they come in from there and they're going to come up at an angle like this. They're going to come up and slam at about a 45 degree angle into the bottom slash side of that coil. <clears throat> the deck is a clamp style. It's spring loaded so as you loosen these flathead screws the clamps will come up on their own. Now <clears throat> I'm not even taking this thing apart. It's a 27 millimeter deck. I'm not taking it apart honestly. I'm not a fan of it. And this video has been very delayed because I don't like this friggin' RDA. So, the top cap goes on there. The airflow will lock in either direction. So you can go all the way to the right with it and it'll lock. And then you can go all the way to the left with it and it will lock. Depending on which way you want to go, it is completely up to you. Now, something that I don't like, being that there's three airflow holes in there and then 10 on this when you go to shut one side down like this thing has a lot of airflow so I feel like when I shut it I like four airflow holes on each side I feel like when I shut it down that much so that the, there's gonna be two airflow holes open these two right here and they're only gonna be directly on here on this first airflow hole out of the three I feel like that's where the flavor is is getting lost. I feel like the air is not traveling all the way over and hitting the middle and the last one and I'm losing airflow that's not traveling over to the third hole. So that's all I got for this thing down low. I'm not doing an in-depth on this RDA because I just I'll explain in the up top how I feel about this RDA. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. I'm going to start with the RDA itself because I just want to get that out of the way and like make a few things clear. I got this set up in about two and, a, two and a half, maybe three weeks ago now. I was pumped for the Arden and the Dreamer. Now, I used the Arden for about two days, fiddling around with a bunch of different types of ways to use it, different stuff inside of it different coil lengths, widths, uh, positioning for airflow uh, coils on the airflow. And uh, what it all came down to, I think for me, was that being a 27 millimeter RDA that has so much airflow wide open, when I shut it down, I'm not getting airflow hitting the center or one whole side of the coil. So I am getting very muted flavor. <clears throat> so, that's going to be my main gripe with this RDA. I don't like it. I used it for the first two days. It turned me from doing this video because I needed to do these together. Um, I'll be straight up with you guys. As soon as I played around with this thing for a couple days, I took it right off, put the regular 510 connection on it, and I had my rebirth on it. And I enjoy the Dreamer a lot, especially with the rebirth on it. Other than that, the airflow is smooth. Other than the flavor being muted, the airflow is smooth. It has a very deep juice well. It holds a lot of juice. You don't have to drip it a lot. So it does have its pros, but flavor is everything to me. So I just, it's not for me. It 
it's beautiful on this mod don't get me wrong but it's just not for me just saying if you want flavor pick up the dreamer and then pick up the rebirth skip right over this Arden. but that's just my opinion on to the on to the um, dreamer itself <clears throat> this thing is so clean and simple I love it this little design how it goes in right there when you put it in your hand and you you're firing it it just feels great you know you know those mods that you put in your hand right out of the box and you're just like oh yeah okay I can do this that's exactly how I felt with this so I was disappointed with the Ardent because I had high hopes for this setup because it's beautiful but the dreamer the mod itself is great I switched it out for a fully flat the fully flat silver plated contact it hit harder put a silver spring in it I feel like it hit a little bit harder than the uh, than the contact that comes inside of it by default the one that comes inside of it by default is silver plated come on it is silver plated but it's not flat so god damn it there you go so because it's not flat and it has all those little uh kind of like a shoe print thing going on like a grid um i feel like it just doesn't hit as hard as a, a flat contact that's just going to be making more surface area contact with the battery um so when i put that in and the silver spring i felt like it was hitting a little bit harder now in my opinion if i had to pick between this and the mage this is more comfortable and nice in the hand Straight out of the box, the Mage does hit harder, hands down, 100%. I've used the same RDA with the same build in it, back-to-back, -back, same battery, and tried them both. The Mage 100% hits harder, but this button is much better designed on this mod. It's more comfortable. It doesn't twist out on itself at all because it's got those, it, the button is in there with these little grooves, so it cannot spin. I like the design of the button a lot more so they do make a full silver contact and full silver spring kit for it that you can pick up I was told it's around $30 so that's what I'm gonna say it is I'm not 100% sure I haven't seen it for myself but from what I hear that'll make it hit much harder so if you're going for straight out of the box ripping ass um, get the mage Plus, it comes with the stackable tube right out of the box. So if you want to stack it, you don't have to buy an extra piece. If you're going for looks and comfortability and you can build around voltage drop because you're a, an experienced mech user, then by all means, get the Dreamer. From what I hear, the aluminum one is a whole different animal than this stainless steel one. So that might be something to look into as well because that one hits harder. Um, other than that, that's all, that's all I got for this review. A little let down by the ardent but i love the, the dreamer itself i will recommend the dreamer to anybody that knows how to use mech mods no zones law yada 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 battery safety the ardent i would never recommend to anybody unless they were going to just throw a huge build in it and use it to blow clouds and that's about all i would recommend it for other than that everybody's looking for flavor and clouds today so i can't really recommend this rda on and it's sad because it looks so freaking good on there. And it also does not come with a squonk pin. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope everybody has a good night. Thank you for watching me.